doctrine. We are gathered here today to analyze and examine the migratory habits and processes of the emperor penguin, or at tinnitus for Syrian. After we hatch from our cocoons into our mature adult stage, we will begin our long and arduous journey in the southern hemisphere. After a pilgrimage of thousands of miles, we end our migratory constitutional in the northern United States. Boy, do our wings get tired after all that flying. And then we... Wait, cocoons? Flying? Hold it. What are you talking about? Um, well, temporary penguin migration. You know, Napoleon, this is my first year and I'm really excited. Cornelius, your description is about monarch butterflies, not emperor penguins. Rats! I shouldn't have looked that up on Wikipedia. Well, perhaps Palpatine and I can straighten you out so you don't get lost. I knew Caesar and Calpurnia would have trouble when they named him Cornelius. Not even a proper emperor name. It's scandalous. First of all, Cornelius, migration does begin in the southern hemisphere, but what is your home address? Antarctica on the Mertz Glacier. Well, we are in the southern hemisphere, but a little farther south than the monarch butterflies would come. Don't forget to remind him what we migrate for. Oh, actually, I do know this one. Don't we migrate because our breeding grounds are clear on the other side of the continent? Well, yes. After we mate and the eggs are laid, the ladies have to go and eat since they haven't in about four months. Oh, they must be hungry. You're going to love this next part, Cornelius. While the ladies are gone, we have to wash eggs and keep them warm. Now we don't get to eat for about 65 days. One of the hardest things on our migration route is dealing with the cold. Now Cornelius, last time you were on the migration track, you were in the eggs, so you probably don't remember. In order to deal with the cold, we huddle together, constantly moving around, so that no penguin is left out in the cold for too long. Hey, yeah, Ming told me about that. He also said that we end up going almost 120 kilometers. What about the trip back? Well, the trip back is easier because the ice is melting. Oh, okay. <laughs> that sounds better. It is much easier. It takes us about half the time to get back to home sweet home. One more question. Why don't we migrate in order to make? Can't we just stay where we are? That's a good question, Cornelius. Our feeding grounds are far away as well. We need to get there in order to store up some mackerel for the spring. Wow, this was awesome. Thanks, guys. Next time I have to explain our migration, I am asking you to. Much obliged. No problem, Cornelius. Happy to help. So, guys, that would be the highly... <coughs> Wait. <coughs> this has been a highly scientific migratory explanation of Cornelius the Penguin. We would like to extend our most heartfelt thanks to Jean-Claude the octopus for the exceptional quality of sepia ink used on our title page. Thank you all for attending and farewell.